Hey guys, I'm behind the rod building bench here and I want to show you how to breathe some new life into the classic RDS rod drying system from CRB. You know, one of my favorite options on the RDS system is the clutch. It allows you to grab the rubber chuck with a rod in it, the motor is still turning, and the clutch slips. It allows you to be very precise on placing finish around rod guides and, and hook keepers and different things like that. So it's something that I love to have on the rod bench I try to finish with them as much as I can but I've got some old classic RDS's that are still in perfect working order and I'm just gonna upgrade them so let's talk about how to do that real quickly when you order the RDS dryer with clutch it's gonna come in a bag you're gonna get a new chuck with the clutch already attached and then you're also gonna get directions on how to do this. The directions are very good. They tell you exactly what you need to know. So let's walk through that right now. A couple of the tools we're gonna to need. I've got a pair of needle nose pliers. There is a nylon locking nut on the backside of this chuck. So that's gonna help us grab that. I have a flathead screwdriver inside of the chuck on this, uh, the one with the clutch is a flathead screw that actually adjusts the tension inside of this clutch. So if you've got a rod that weighs a little bit more, you're gonna need to up the tension a little bit so that the clutch doesn't accidentally slip on you. And in addition to that, we're gonna need a two and a half millimeter Allen key. I also have a 332nd here in this little tool kit. That'll get you by as well. So let's jump right in. On the back side of this chuck that we've got here, this is your RDS standard rubber chuck. You've got a nylon locking nut. And then on this side, you have an Allen key head here. So what we're gonna do is we are going to use the Allen key head. I'm gonna turn it here on its side. Do the Allen key in. Grab this, and grab this with my needle nose here first. I'm gonna grab that nut with the needle nose pliers, and then I'm gonna back off with the Allen key. So that's gonna come out. Your nut will come off. I'm gonna put this nut aside because we will reuse this hardware. And then you're just gonna unscrew this Allen key screw that goes. What it does is it runs through the back of the dryer chuck and it goes through the spindle that comes out of the motor. And let's see, keep cutting a little more. Almost there. We'll feel the chuck loosening up and it will slide right off. So the dryer chuck will slide off. You just pull that screw out and set that aside. You can use that as a backup, keep it, hang on to it, but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add the chuck with the clutch on and it will just slide right on in place of the other one. We're gonna line up the holes here. Get the Allen screw to go, Allen key head to go through there. So that is snugged up and let me finish tightening it using the needle nose. There we go. Now we're snugged down. Turn it on. Give it a test. Spinning nice and true. All you need to do is grab the chuck here. It'll stop it. You can see that the motor here is still spinning. If you want to change directions with the clutch, you know, you're used to grabbing the chuck here. If you want to change directions, you just have to reach back and grab back here. Use those nylock nuts and that, that screw kind of as a brace. And then what you're doing is you're actually grabbing back here on the chuck and then the motor will reverse there. So grab back here on the clutch, that will help reverse the motor. And then you grab out here on the chuck to stop the rod from spinning. 
that'll help you guys be a little more precise with your finish. So hopefully that'll get y'all motivated to get an upgraded dryer. You don't have to buy a new one. You can always just upgrade with the chuck and the clutch. Run over to mudhole.com and grab one today. You see right here, just a couple minutes and you'll be back in business.